welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and I actually have completely different makeup, completely different hair, completely different outfit. I forgot to actually record a intro to this video, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I just thought I'd jump in and just discuss what we're going to be doing today. So we are testing the infamous foundation made big on YouTube by Taylor or known as the Taylor on YouTube. We are going to be testing a favourite that she constantly talks about and loves. The foundation in question is the CYO Life Proof Foundation. I have the same shade as Taylor which is 101 which is the paler shade of course. <laughs> this actually comes in 15 shades so it's not a massive shade range but it does have a decent amount of shades so there's a good variation in there. This is a very affordable foundation. It's £7.50. You can get it from Boots and also CYO's website. They claim it to be a long lasting creamy lightweight foundation. It's supposed to last 24 hours which is a long time for foundation. It's supposed to be smudge and transfer free and give you a fresh and flawless finish. It's supposed to be medium coverage but also buildable and comfortable to wear. Although it does say it's medium coverage they do actually label it as full coverage but they do say it's buildable so I'm assuming they mean you can build it up to full coverage. It's also got vitamin E to nourish and moisturize the skin and it's a natural finish. So we're going to be doing a full blown wear test for this today. I'm going to do check-ins with you guys and we're going to see how it lasts on my skin. Taylor has very dry skin. I have combination to oily. So we're going to see if it works any differently on my type of skin. I couldn't actually find anything online for a suggestion of skin types so I'm assuming it's just supposed to be for all. <laughs> we shall see in the video. I'm going to do my usual and do some arm swatches for you guys so you can test the shade against other foundations I have and then we'll get straight into the foundation review. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here are the swatches. Here's the CYO Life Proof in the shade 101. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in the shade 15 Porcelain. This is the Revolution Pro Drop Foundation in the shade F1. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 110. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F1. And finally, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in 00A Porcelain. All right, so I've already primed my skin. I'll leave the primers and everything that I've used down below. I'm going to be doing my usual thing and I'm going to be using the Sports Direct sponge on this side and my Y6 by Morphe. Test out which gives the best finish and coverage. So I'm going to quickly do a chest swatch so we can see if it's going to match me. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit dark, but I also feel like it's going to be a similar shade to the L'Oreal Fresh Wear that we just tried. I'll link that in the eye over here if you want to watch it. Just try the consistency on my palette by here. Oh, that is so much thicker than what I thought what it would be. I thought it was going to be very liquidy but look at that, that's very very thick. Okay let's do my chest swatch to see what it's going to be like. As I said I think is this going to be a little bit too dark. Okay that is slightly dark but actually that is like very very close though. Like an undertone and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is kind of darkening down a little bit though so but my face is naturally darker than my chest. I've got a lot of redness and stuff in my face but I am intrigued. So let's get right into the application. I'm just gonna take what's on my palette and dot it on my face. This is such like a neutral undertone. It almost has like a beige undertone to it. It's quite intriguing for a drugstore foundation because they usually either sway very yellow or very pink. I'm gonna pat this out and see what kind of coverage we can get. It feels very lightweight. I can barely feel anything on my skin. Okay, so I barely see it. There's not a lot of coverage with that first layer. I'm gonna dunk my sponge into the actual product and try and pack it on. I can't describe the consistency. It's such a weird one. Yeah, it's not really covering up the redness that I've got on my chin there and I've kind of used up what was on my palette there. So I'm just gonna try putting this like on my actual face. This is supposed to be like a dewy foundation. I thought it would be very liquidy, but it's really not. I do just feel like I've barely put anything on my face, which is a good thing because it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. Considering I just did three layers, it doesn't feel like I put anything on, but also it doesn't really look like I've put anything on either. You can still see a lot of discoloration coming through. Mm. Like, can you see my freckles? I've got like red spots down here that are still coming through that have not been covered. We'll see what a brush does. Let's hope that I get more coverage. <laughs> Let's try the brush. I'm just gonna dot it on like I did before. And let's blend this out. So it's kind of creating a bit of streak, so I'm just trying to like pat it out instead. Compared to the sponge side, it is a lot more coverage. They look pretty even, so that would tell me that the brush is gonna give you more coverage. I'm gonna try going in with one more layer and see if I get any more. 
I don't find this like smoothing over my pores or anything. I can still see them coming through, you know? So just patting it on in. It looks real nice around my nose. I much prefer the finish on the brush side. And I hardly ever say that. I'm a sponge girl through and through. I always usually use a sponge, but the actual finish of this foundation looks so much better with a brush. However, I do feel like I can still kind of see like brush strokes in here. So I am just going to go over with the sponge. I'm just hoping it's not going to absorb that finish that I like. <laughs> I'm going to go like around the areas that kind of need buffing in. So yeah, I much prefer that. It's blended out really nicely. And I haven't got that kind of bobbly looking skin anymore that I did with the brush. So get more coverage with the brush and a nicer finish, but then go over with a sponge because then it will look flawless and skin-like, which is what it looks like right now. I may go over this side with the brush just to even myself out in coverage. Oh, and also I need to finish up my forehead. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's happening. It's very cloudy outside, but like even my softbox isn't really bringing light. I don't know what's going on. Anywho, let's sort this face out. Okay, so I've got a lot better coverage. I love the finish with the brush. I have taken it down the neck and as you can see, it's just a little bit darker than my chest and everything. You can see the line there. There's not a lot that I can do about that. <laughs> By the way, don't ask me what's going on with my hair. Uh, I let it dry natural and it's gone a bit crazy. But yeah, so far I'm liking the way that this looks and also feels. One thing that I may do when I use this again is use a more silicone based primer. Just because it hasn't really helped my skin skin texture at all. It, it's just kind of sitting over there, like my pores are still kind of visible, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but personally, I'd just rather have my pores be less visible. And I did use Benefit Professional. One other thing as well is I use quite a lot of this foundation. Like I think I used like six to seven pumps, which is a ridiculous amount of foundation. I would never use that amount usually. If you've got very nice skin and you just want something to kind of even you out, then this is going to be really good. But if you've got like acne scars and you have a lot of redness, a lot of discoloration, I really don't think this is going to be a good foundation for you because it's really not going to cover that much. It's just something to bear in mind before you think about going out and purchasing this. But anyway, I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup. I think I'm actually going to do a chit chat get ready with me. It's going to be a separate video so keep your eyes out. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when that goes up. If it's already up, I'll put it in the eye because that may be going up before this. I haven't decided. My life is not that organized. <laughs> it is currently 12.04 so let's just call the check in time. 12 o'clock because I've just been yammering on for about five minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit and we'll see how the foundation is looking. Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick little check-in to show you guys what my face looks like. I said one time doing my makeup today, but I thought I'd just let you guys know what the foundation is looking like. It's looking pretty average, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't one that I'm crazy about. It looks quite nice on my forehead, but I just feel like my texture just isn't the best. You can see my pores pretty visibly. I'd really need to go ham with a pore filling primer, which I did use one today. So I'm quite surprised that my pores are showing so much. It just doesn't really do anything for the skin. It evens me out, but I just feel like I have a lot better foundations in my collection. I set it with powder, but it's actually not as dewy as it shows up on Taylor's skin, like at all. I feel like on my chin here where I've got like some breakouts, it's like clinging onto them. Again, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face, but it's just the finish I just don't like and the coverage. I feel like I need something a little bit more from my foundation. That's just a personal thing. I don't know. We'll see how this one wears. As I said, I kind of like it on my forehead. It gives like a nice kind of sheen to the skin, but I'm going to go about the rest of my day and we'll see how it wears. Hey guys, so quick update on the foundation. It has been a full day. I believe I finished up this foundation around 12. Now it is 25 minutes past seven. So it's been on for over seven hours, which is pretty much a full working day. Well, you know, if you're working like nine to five, you know what I mean? As far as my skin feels, it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. Again, this is very lightweight. Considering how thick the formula was, I didn't feel like I had anything on my skin. So, fingers crossed, I don't look too bad. But let's have a quick look in the mirror because I have not looked since this morning. So, <laughs> what? This is craziness. Okay, so for one, I'm very oily. I hear, hear, even though my chin is very oily, my forehead is across the board oily. <laughs> my highlight and bronzer is still there. I actually forgot to put on blush today. Hmm, that's a bit of a disappointment, but <laughs> everything else has stayed on very well considering that my oils are coming through so much. It's even coming through on my nose. <laughs> like the highlight is there, but I can see like 
my oil's coming through as well. Like, it's kind of gross. But here's the thing, okay? My skin looks so, I want to say airbrushed. Like, it looks all one color. It looks really even. There's no separation at all of the product. It's not settling into fine lines or anything. And my skin just looks very healthy and dewy. I'm kind of liking this right now. It's clearly warmed up to my skin. When I initially applied it, I really didn't like the way that it looked. But now the kind of like clinging that I had is completely gone and it just looks really nice on the skin. I would happily just blot and go about the rest of my day. Obviously I'm not gonna blot, but I would happily do that. Pretty much the whole of my face does have like a layer of sheen to it though, but I'm pleasantly surprised with the way that my skin actually looks. Like I would happily wear this again. I was a little bit spooked with the initial application, but now after a full day of wear, it's only looking better with time. But yeah, I'm gonna go make some keto pancakes because it's pancake day when I'm filming this. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it for a few more hours to see if there's any separation or changes at all. So yeah, I'll talk to you in a few more hours and we'll see what it's looking like then. Hey guys, so it is now at the end of the day. I'm so overdue going to bed. <laughs> my hair is up, my pajamas are on. It is currently 12.36 in the night. I'm no longer making any sense. <laughs> so I thought I'd do my final check-in on the foundation. This has been on for, how long has it been on for? 11, 12 like 13 hours. It's been on for a long ass time and I'm ready to wash my face now. I filmed two other videos so that's why my eye makeup is like a little bit different but not really. <laughs> oh and that's why my lips look like this. I just tried like a lip topper by Sleek. That video will be up before this one so I'll link it in the eye over here if you're interested. That was an interesting video because I compared it to Jouer. Uh yeah. Anyway let's get back to the foundation. It doesn't feel any different. My eyes just feel tired. <laughs> okay so I feel like it's faded. I feel like a lot of my redness is coming through by here and here it's coming through so it has faded over time but it's still even and hasn't got patchy which is really good because I hate it when foundations go patchy. I'd rather it fade all as one than go patchy. I'm obviously looking very oily all over my face but considering this is like a recommendation for someone who has dry skin and I have combination to oily, this is not oily. There have been foundations on this channel where I've looked like a complete oil slick. This is actually quite a nice kind of dew to the skin. I like the way it reflects. It just makes my skin look healthy. If I was to wear this for longer, which I probably wouldn't, I could just powder the areas and it would look pretty much brand new. I may actually try doing that right now. I am about to take off my makeup, so why not? So if I was to just like powder these areas, then look, it pretty much looks brand freaking new. I am really impressed actually. In the beginning I did not have high hopes for this but as the day has gone on it's warmed up to my skin really nicely and even though it's worn down I still like the way my skin looks. If a foundation does that for me then I know I'm gonna reach for it again. We have had some success with some affordable foundations here on this channel. First the fresh wear, now this one. What's next? But yeah I'm gonna go wash my face off now because I'm super duper tired and I need to go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed and appreciated this foundation review. Obviously it's always nice to have someone with different skin types to review the same foundation. So if you are my skin type which is combination to oily, I hope this helped you out. If you aren't combination to oily and you're more dry, check out Taylor here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below and you can see how it wears on her skin. She has actually had dry and oily skin so she knows the struggle of both and I really appreciate her reviews. I believe she only purchased this when she had dry skin though. She hasn't tried this with oily skin so I hope I helped you out a little bit. But yeah, beautiful foundation good recommendation so thank you so much Taylor if you ever watch this I doubt you ever would but I've been blabbing on for so freaking long now <laughs> I really need to go to bed I'm so freaking tired what is going on with my hair back here oh my god okay <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world whatever you are doing if you like foundation reviews and other beauty videos then don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button and the bell button next to it so you get notified of new uploads I try a lot of things here and I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel so I'm here every single week and if you do enjoy foundation reviews please leave a like on the video and I'll keep on coming for you anyway I'm gonna go to bed now I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. I'm going to be doing my usual use of my sports effects front sponge, sponge, mm. and also my. Sp this isn't a sponge. Stop saying it's a sponge. My light is askew. I need to sort it out. One second. It's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. It's moving again. Keep still. You can say anything you want to, cause I don't care. Yeah. 
Wake up, but you can run Hey, yeah, cause I'm not This shit don't do I hope I have you. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm just going over my hair.